Hello everyone, welcome back to Solo Gaming Time with Dakota the Douchebag, playing Hyper Metroid. So, if you remember from the last episode, I'm a little tipsy. Been having a good time playing little Hyper Metroid, just died recently, but that's okay. We're going to get through it together. And uh, I was... Um, I don't remember what I was talking about in the last episode, so that's always a good sign that I'm a professional at this. <laughs> uh, so, uh, by the time you see this, our Twitch uh, live stream will have been finished, and I hope that it went well. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I, I, as I said in the last episode, I'd love to hear from all of you and, and know what you guys think of all the Let's Plays and, and the craziness we're doing. and, and Hell, if you want to see certain things, if you want to suggest certain games, even like I, I'm, I'm down to fucking try whatever you want. And I, I know that this, I, I can be pretty. Shane and I can be pretty crazy to listen to because we, we go, pr we're pretty over the top and 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 we swear a lot. So when we do more like kid friendly games, like I, I want to do some Minecraft stuff soon and some different Minecraft mod packs and that. So if you guys want to see that. Uh, I, I will probably do that a little bit more family friendly. I'll I'll I'll, I'll stop the swearing and, and we'll just we'll just kind of have a relaxed, fun playthrough, and we won't have to offend anybody and be you know the the normal reckless douchebags that we tend to be. Um, and I mean I know people like swearing and and I I I think I used to be this like big advocate for being against censorship and and not censoring life and and swearing and all that stuff but i i've changed my tune a bit i mean i watched this vsauce video about swearing and, and it said some things i had i had going through my head for a few years like swearing does have a purpose right like it's it's part of our culture and there's a reason like it can't just be that we we decided to take some random sounds that come from our mouths and make them you know naughty um, there's got to be a reason for it. And I think Vsauce has the right idea. I think the fact is, is that they need to be censored. They need to be, um, they need to hold the same weight that they, they, they do, you know? They need to keep holding that kind of weight so we can still express emotions and, and f like, feelings through our, through our language in an effective way. And that, I mean, maybe this is too deep for somebody who's drunk, but... Or tipsy. I'm not really drunk. That maybe one day I'll be drunk on this show, but God, that would be. I'm. I'm a weird drunk. I'm really fun drunk. Um, it's funny. I like this is. This gets really dark. Really, I'm gonna get really dark really for a second here, but I'll lighten it up. Don't worry. Um, I'll, I'll sing. I'll sing a show tune maybe. <laughs> but so uh, I um, when I first like started drinking, like because my dad was this horrible person, right? Like he he drank and smoked and did drugs he dealt drugs and and he only stopped so that my mom would come back to him and then he went right back to it the second she got back in the house you know um which is the kind of thing a guy like that would do right like you you kind of expect um you'd hope for the best but he didn't get it with my dad unfortunately um but uh yeah he was because of that he like he was an angry drunk he was I, i've seen him drunk he's so pissy and, and moody and, and rude and like he I, I mean I've been in the car when he was driving drunk before and I didn't realize he was drunk when he was a kid but looking back I realized how fucking horrible he was and what my mom must have went through like she shielded me from a lot of the shit that went on like I I, I make I make abusive father jokes all the time but I didn't really get abused that badly I mean I have depression but it's for other reasons than that um but uh um, it's interesting because they like, uh, I wonder if this is a thing. I bet this is a thing. Uh, speed booster. Interesting. Uh, nope, that's not a thing. Okay. Anyways, when I first turned of age, um, I, <laughs> I was like, man, I want to go out. I want, I want to try it. You know, I've had sips of like wine and champagne before for New Year's with my mom, but 
nothing like crazy, obviously. Um, so I, I wanted to try it and and see where I was with it. And I was worried because I'm like, my dad wasn't the best guy. And especially when he was drinking, he was an angry drunk. And I'd heard that there were types of drunks, right? Like there's angry and there's happy drunks and there's depressed drunks and things like that. Or sad drunks. I think sad drunks is a more effective term because depression is not sadness. Uh, it's much, much different than that. Um, but uh, I, I decided that I would take my best friend in the world out drinking with me so uh, for my 18th. Just one friend at one small little bar, local bar, and just kind of see how things went because I was scared. I was terrified of what could happen uh what i could be like when i was drunk maybe i would start fights or or just sit at the bar crying and if that was the case i wasn't going to drink anymore i was just going to i was just going to live my life not drinking and i was i'm totally okay i was totally okay to do that um but i I, it turns out that when I drink, I, I, I end up being a really happy and fun and weird fellow and people really enjoy my company um, when I'm drunk. And I mean, it, it's a, to me, that's a tragic thing. I mean, it sounds beautiful because I, I'm one step less like my father. And I mean, that's awesome. But at the same time, it's like, I, that means I still am okay to drink right and I, like that's not always the best thing i mean drinking is fun i'll, I'll give it that because I, I, I get into this, these really hyper silly moods but it's still bad for you and it can still lead to bad things and, and it can obviously i mean it tore my family apart i mean of course but um ah oh, shit i did it again i didn't press the right button <laughs> super nintendo controller is so different anyways um, yeah, I, I just, it's, it's very, it's very weird to think that like, I mean, yeah, I can, I can drink and not, you know, beat the shit out of people or want to beat the shit out of people and fail because I'm, you know, this scrawny, useless douchebag, um, to go to the douchebag, that's me. Um, but like, that's a hard fucking space pirate. Holy balls. But, um. <laughs> ah, fuck. Super missiles. I can't get in there. Uh, gosh, what, what am I even saying right now? Uh, but, but at the same time, like, that means I can drink and probably will because I find it fun to, to a degree. Like, I think it, it's, it's a nice social thing to do. It helps people become more comfortable with each other because like, I'm just, I'm already a pretty open guy. I'll talk about anything about myself I and mean, clearly i've been talking about some dark shit about my past and i just like eh, i don't really care you know i like to i like to just be open and and be frank with people because why the fuck not right um that's clever i like that they leave a little morph ball thing so you can see what's ahead and i've, I've cleared some of the gates interesting very interesting okay cool so now I've seen what's down here. But, um, what am I saying? So yeah, I, I, I think it's a great social thing. And so, so other people, whenever we, I drink with somebody else, like they think that I'm getting drunk. So obviously I'm going to be okay with whatever they're saying. And I can kind of get to know people on a, in a way that they, that you wouldn't normally through so through regular social means. But generally when I drink, I, uh, like in, in that capacity, I like to drink hard alcohol because I don't really get affected by it. You know, like I beer, three beers and I'm on my ass, like not entirely like, but I'm, I'm, I'm drunk. Like, I, I have a heavy buzz going and I'm very tipsy and I'm, yeah, I'm drunk. Um, whereas I, I have had an entire 750 of Jameson's to myself in, I think two hours and I didn't feel a thing. Like I wasn't even slightly buzzed. Like, I think I had a bit of a, a bit of that, like, like lightness in your head, like you get, but it wasn't, it was hardly even noticeable. I was like, okay, well, I'm just me, you know? And, uh, I'm, I'm the same asshole. I'll just have fewer dents in my car. That's a Robin Williams joke. Um, 
But yeah, that's that was that's kind of the story of me and, and alcohol. <laughs> Since we're doing this semi drunk let's play, this tipsy let's play. <laughs> oh man. Did I get what was up there? No, that that's yeah, it's just a um, Yeah. Let's do that move. You ready? Uh oh no, I didn't do it right. Fuck. I don't have the timing for that shit right now. I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh, Oh, it's those guys. Hey, guys. Oh, my God. I haven't seen you since fucking... Oh, God. I haven't seen you guys since Super Metroid. Actually, since Metroid Fusion. Ah, oh, fuck. I got, I'm, I'm got this. I'm, I'm like so concentrated. I'm sorry. I'm being really quiet, but I'm like so concentrated right now, because this like getting the wall jumping down in Super Metroid is hard. I'm like I only ever have it down once in a while, and like I've seen I've seen like speedrunners who can fucking just wall jump up the same wall, and I used to be able to do that uh, like a little bit, not as not nearly as fast as those guys. Holy fuck! Um, I love watching. Um, uh, AGDQ, awesome games done quickly, or done quick. That is like that shit is cool. They're like they're doing charity and they're they're speed running and just they're just doing what they like to do and and they all act so cool about it because like yeah it's just just something I do you know it's like it's no big deal. <laughs> they act so cool about it. Um, and you got me just being a fucking idiot in front of a camera, but hey, it's fun. I like it. <laughs> um all oh, right i was gonna i was gonna like i was gonna change up the tone of this let's play with a little show tune um trying to think of what to do uh oh hey i know a great song I, it's it's not too loud i can sing without waking up my roommates um <laughs> i'm not okay i'm just gonna sing it for you i'm not gonna talk about it beforehand <clears throat> well 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 what have we here Santa Claus huh Ooh, I'm really scared so you're the one everybody's talking about <laughs> you're joking you're joking I can't believe my eyes you're joking me you gotta be this can't be the right guy he's ancient he's ugly I don't know which is worse I might just be the same now if I don't die laughing first Mr. Rookie Boogie says there's trouble close at hand you better pay attention now Cause I'm the boogeyman And if you won't shake him There's something very wrong Cause this may be the last time You hear the boogie song Whoa That's all I'll sing But uh, that's I. Okay so I'm going to talk about that for a second I <laughs> I really don't like Nightmare Before Christmas I think it, it's very creative and a very interesting movie to a degree, but I really don't like the style. I think the story is very lame, um, very Corpse Bride. I know it's done by the same guy, but it shouldn't be the same story being told the same way for 20 years, you know? Like, I find that to be kind of ridiculous. Um... But uh, I like I have I have respect for Tim Burton. I think I think he he certainly is a creative individual, and he's a hell of a lot more successful than I've ever been. So fucking why not, right? I mean, I hope to be a filmmaker who's as respected and widely just widely appreciated as Tim Burton is, <sighs> fucking widely followed as him because he's like. He's considered a genius, and like, and obviously, I'm not a genius. I'm an idiot with a controller and a webcam, like, and a and a microphone. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I, I being a karaoke host, I say the same shit. I'm just like, guys, I, I'm no better than any of you. I don't think I'm better than any of you. The thing is, I'm just an asshole who happens to have a microphone and a, and 600 watt speakers. Mm. And 
not just that, but I'm also the guy that has the dinosaur mask. <laughs> So that's a thing. Anyways, I should probably end this episode here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching once again. Um, this, the, this Let's Play so far has been really, this session, I should say, has been really fun for me and all the Let's Plays. Like, I've been having a blast. And we played Distance and we tweeted the video at the developers, Refract Studios, and they liked our tweet. And I was very, like, excited and they i hope they actually watched it like a lot of people just they're just like oh this person played our game i'll fucking like their video or like like the tweet um like i didn't get a comment on the video or a like on the video or anything i don't even think the views went out i, I wasn't really able to pay much attention at the, at the time but like it was just so exciting even to be acknowledged at all and i mean I think that's really cool. Like I shot Mark Mir. Uh, I, I do photography um, once in a while. And so I, I did photography at Edmonton Expo uh, where I live here. And um, it's like our comic con basically. And it's cool. And so like I shot Mark Mir and he like, he, he liked my tweet as well. And I think that was awesome. And he wants to work on my show with me. Apparently this is what I'm told. Uh, Shane tells me this, so I'm hoping that that's a thing, because I, I would love to have him on board. I think he's super cool. He's a he's a great guy, um, and uh, yeah. Anyways, I need to end this episode. So thank you all for much, so much for watching. I'm Dakota the douchebag, and you've been watching Gaming Time Solo Gaming Time on Black Boys Gaming. Goodbye. <laughs>